Hello pilots and ground crew and road warriors. <laughs> I've got my truck out, you just guessed didn't you? Oh, uh, this is only the second time I've had her out. You saw my first video when I was telling you about it. You know what? Right? Laddie, yeah, uh, jumpers coming loose. Yeah, so it's just my second flight, but uh, second flight, oh god, how much more is this going to come out with flights? Yeah, it's just my second uh, run. Alright, but come to like a car park area. So, uh, just thought I'd give it a quick blast then. I'm keeping it on low rates though, because, uh, well, I'm not good enough yet for high rates. And I just thought I'd show you how to turn it on. Okay, I'm showing you that switch underneath, but I'll make sure you how easy it is to get at it. Right then, let's have a round. Just setting my timer. Right, I've got the transmitter turned on. Hopefully you can see that. And you literally just reach underneath, find your on and off switch, and it's on. See? You don't have to take the canopy, I've got the battery in and everything's set up for me. Right then, like I say, this is only my second time out. First time was on grass, so I'm keeping it on low rates. Before anyone says I know it's private property, this ain't low rates yet. Right. Now this is low rates. Whoa. Power off. <laughs> yeah, this is on low rates. As you can see, it's still got some bloody movement on it. Power off. <laughs> yeah, high rates. I just wasn't able to control it with my skill level at the moment. I'm keeping it on low. Just remember, it's only my second time out, but boy, she can move. Even on low rates, she can move. When I'm turning, if you see her slow down, it's because like now I'm taking my finger off the throttle to turn, right? Because she'll probably hold, but I don't want to risk turning her over and scratching it up. And at some point I'll be putting that FPV camera on once I feel a bit more comfortable. So I want to be able to drive without flipping it over. I've set my timer this time for 12 minutes and then I'll check my battery and I'll let you know I'll put some sort of some sort of caption up or some tell you how much of my battery was left to see if uh, 12 minutes is okay because we know we run down there uh, the battery when we did full 16 hey, little skin. yeah the full 16 minutes but uh, yeah luckily I charged it up again but this is uh, one of them FPV uh, 1500 lipos right so I don't know how long or how good the battery will be on this this way so that's why i've set the timer for 12 minutes then i'll check the voltage and then i'll be able to tell you how long to run it without killing it because uh, you don't want to run them flat you want at least i'd say 30 percent of the battery battery life still in the battery when you turn it off you think this thing's moving it's still on low rates I know you're all thinking, go on, turn it up to high rates, but no, <laughs> not till I'm more used to it. 
Yeah, still on low rates. Good breaking. Wee it's so bloody funny. I mean, flying helicopters and planes for over a decade, right, and then going to quads and stuff. And I never ever wanted a car. Never did. Never wanted one. But uh, I saw one. I saw a few at Beverly Westwoods, as I think I said in the previous video, and I just thought, yeah, they're cool. And especially the way this hobby's going, right, the way the new rules and regulations, that's why a lot of people, including me, have started to uh, fly the micro quads. Right, because they're uh, less than 250 grand, the regulations won't affect you. And obviously with cars, the regulations won't affect you. Right, but your bigger quads and your drones and stuff it could be at some point we're not going to be able to fly them at all. Right, which will include their uh, planes. Obviously, I suppose you've got a little 250 gram plane, but yeah, you get away with it. But all my planes are well over 250 gram. Right, as are, well, all my quads apart from my micro. So, getting into another part of this hobby. At my age, I need stuff to do on the uh, downtime, and I'm quite enjoying this. Tell you what, this is only my second time out, and I'm, I'm quite impressed with myself. Hang on, oh, I'm not going to say the F word, I haven't effed it yet, right? <laughs> because I, I will if I see it, but yeah. I still haven't gone into high rates yet though, I don't want to risk high rates because I don't want to wear uh, scratch it all up. <laughs> I mean, joking apart though, these low rates, it's bloody bombing about. Plus at high rates, your battery will run down quicker at high rates. But this thing's bombing about. Don't really show up as much on the camera to what it's actually doing. Right, because when I watched the uh, last video back again, right, I thought it doesn't look like it's moving very fast, but bloody hell it is. And like here, it's bloody bombing along. I reckon on low rates it's doing, I'd say, over 20 mile an hour. Right, which doesn't sound like much, but when, as you know, the smaller the vehicle, closer to the ground, it's <laughs> 20 mile an hour is a lot faster. So I wouldn't be at all surprised in high rates if it does reach its 46k, which is about, what, 30 mile an hour. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I haven't done a range test on this yet, because I don't really, uh, well, I suppose I could go through there just to get a but I can't see behind there. Well, that's quite a long way. I can, I can hardly see it. I should have, uh, tell you what, do high power from over there to get a run, see what the high power is like. Right, I think it's facing this way. Switch it to high power. Easing it on slowly though. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll tell you what, I don't like that. I'm not, I'm not good enough yet for high power. Going back to uh, low rates. I'm just not good enough for high rates yet. It's only my second run, in all fairness, and the first one was on grass, so this is a bit more nerve wracking, even though I did go on the car park for a little bit. But this now is full out on low rates. Got my finger right down on low rates. But uh, 
the battery will be running down so obviously when the battery runs down a bit you start to lose a bit of power Yeah, my brother was saying, remember in the morning, <laughs> on my second go, he said, no, you don't have to build ramps and stuff like that, and uh, I was thinking, yeah, let me freaking get used to rigging there, flying it, uh, flying it, oh god, we're back with the quads and the planes again, flying it, let me get used to driving it, I'll tell you what, like I said, I've set the timer for 12 minutes, so, I mean, obviously, if you look down now, you'll know how long, but me stood here, I can't see my timer, even though I'm going to get a little one, because I've got, got it on my phone. Alright, but I'm going to get a little timer, let me just show you it, just to put on there, like a little egg timer. You see, it turns quite tight. It will turn even more, but I ain't got the dual rates to full. Because, uh, well, novice, novice pilot, pilot, oh god, I might have figured out. It's a truck, George, not a quad, not a plane, not a heli, it's a truck. They drive, they don't fly. There again. I could get, make a wireframe, connect the props on. Connect it to the top, you never know, we could have uh, a bit of a bike quad. Half run, half quad. Alright. It's very quiet, even on the concrete. See it under there. <laughs> Just do a couple of close ones so you can see it. I don't know how it's going to turn out on camera under there. Oh, right, that's me alarm going off. It's 12 minutes and I'll test the battery. Yeah, test the battery and uh, put up on screen. Right. Yeah, test the. Uh, I'll do a test on the LiPo and uh, I'll put it up here now to let you know how much uh, voltage I've got left on the battery. I've got a battery tester with me in the car so. I'll do that now and I'll uh, leave it there. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed me uh, second flat. My second, oh, sure. My second run on the truck. The truck. Yeah, I'm getting more used to it. But it'll take me a while before I go up into high rates. Especially on concrete. Maybe on the Okay then, pilots and ground crew and road warriors. Thanks for watching and cheers. I think it's going to rain. Stiff.